Welcome everyone, this is Anthony Alexander and I'm the SharePoint Administrator for North Central Missouri College. This afternoon we are going to talk about the document library and version control. You can think of a document library as a network share or Windows folders. Like a network share or Windows folder, document libraries are used to store your documents. However, document libraries can also store metadata and version history. To create a document library, click on the Settings button and click Add App. Next, click on the Document Library icon. Give your document library a name and click Create. After you click the Create button, you'll notice that there's the new icon and this is our sample library. Before we go into what all the buttons do on the SharePoint ribbon, let's modify the view and set up version control. To modify the view, I will click on the Library tab and choose Modify View. And since we're going to do version control, we might as well choose Checked Out 2 and versions. And I'll just go click the OK button. To set up version control, I will click the library tab. and click the library settings folder and click versioning settings. Next I'll select, select create major versions and the number of versions to keep I'll just choose three. One thing to keep in mind about major and minor versions um, each time you save a major version, that's going to um, calculate into your site quota. So if you had a document that was, let's we'll say, 5 megs in size, if you had three major versions, that means mean you're taking up 15 megs of whatever your site quota might be. So you would want to keep the number of major versions to the lowest number you feel comfortable with if this is a department site or a site with many collaborators I would rec recommend requiring check-in and check-out as well and that would just be right here but since we're not worrying about that let's go click OK and go back to the document library itself now that that's finished let's cover how to upload a single document to the document library we will click on the files tab and click on the Upload Document icon. Next, we'll click the Browse button. Oh, and if you need to upload multiple files, you can do it this way as well. But since we're just doing one, so we'll browse to the folder, choose my document, and click Open, and click OK. And let's work on version control. So what I'm going to do is choose to check out the item. So I'll go up here and click check out and click OK and then I'll click on the link and launch Microsoft Web App for Word. And let's, since this is a newer version of SharePoint, we will go up here and click File and choose Edit and we'll say Edit in Word Web App and wait for it to load once more. And let's say since this is a newer version of SharePoint we needed to update our documentation. We really didn't want these two icons on here. We need to get the SharePoint 2013 logos. So we'll just say need to have logos and we'll just click save and then we'll exit out and now you can see that it was checked out to me 
And if I want to check it back in, all I have to do is click on that link and choose check in. And it'll ask me what kind of comments I want to make. So I'll just say moved logos and click OK. And now version 2.0 is there. So let's say that if this was an apartment site and your manager didn't like what you changed and really wanted to change back, or if this was your personal online share and you wanted to change it back, and this has been a few months ago, and you don't remember what it is, all you have to do is click on the document and go up to version history, and you'll be able to look at all your major versions you have, and since we only have two, I know this is the one. So this is how we'll get our logos back on that sample word document. I'll click on this little drop down right here. Choose restore. And since I know it's going to be replacing, I'll click OK. And now our version 3.0 is there. So let's verify that those logos are back on the document. So we'll just double click the sample document and there they are. So let's close out. And the final thing I want to recover is how to delete the document. So what you would do is click on this. Just anywhere where you can see where you can kind of think of where the check mark is. And then go up to the ribbon and choose delete document. I'll ask if we're really sure and we are, so we'll click OK. And then let's also say that was a mistake. The next thing you can do is you can actually go to your recycle bin. So to do that, you'll click the uh, I call it the site actions. It used to it's called something else now, but um, then you go to site settings and then look over on the site administration column. And you'll see recycle bin. Click on that link and then if you want to restore it. Just check the checkbox and choose Restore Selection and click OK. And let's go back out to our sample library and just make sure they got out there. So now you have a way to restore your documents if you accidentally delete them. And that concludes our demo for today. Thank you for watching.